What's up YouTube, Six here with Tagback TV, and today we're going to be playing some Ark Survival Evolved. Now today the new update was released with the Redwood Forest, a couple new dinosaurs, the, uh, what I'm really excited for, the tree houses. So today I'm going to start building our tree house base, and then later on we're going to maybe try and see if we can find one of the new dinosaurs and figure out how exactly you knock it out. Now I did do some planning for this. I feel like I want to build off of this big tree right here and then build farther into the forest later on, I think. But this is kind of pretty. I like it. There's some beavers here, which means I can get some scementing paste. And um, yeah, I think it's just a nice, it's a pretty little spot. I like it a lot. And um, I think I've got, yeah, I've got them on me, which is why I'm flying really slow. But uh, let's see just how high I can get this up here. I kind of want it really high. I have yet to even try to figure out how to use this yet. Put that there. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to be right there. Do you, do you want to be higher? Ooh, you do want to be higher. But then you're in the trees. That's no good. Right here looks good. Okay, what about right there? No. Yeah, right there. I guess it's not very high off the ground but if I build this high is it gonna be retarded in the branches so that's not very high off the ground any dinosaur can get that um, hmm decisions <clears throat> oh okay that that tree works too that's pretty cool well, let's start at least, I don't know, hmm, okay, maybe I didn't do as much planning as I may have needed to. No, you know what, that'll be fine, right there. Ooh, look at it, it's beautiful. The beginnings is of our base. Oh, land. See, that tree's gonna have to go. Okay, so it's just gonna have to not be a very large base. Okay, now we just need to get our storage boxes and start moving stuff up there. All right, and we're back. So I did a uh, a full like good two hours of recording to build that oh, their house over here, and uh, realized I did not have any audio. So I'm going to redo some of the stuff that I did just to show you how exactly I built this. And made it look nice and not all ghetto like with all the nice corners everything's nice and even i think it came out pretty nice um if you guys have any other recommendations i'd definitely like to hear them uh, if you want to post in the comments and let me know how you did it differently but so this is what i got in the interior i'm still working on getting everything together um i just put these here because i was going to put uh, lights and stuff up there just so that it's kind of out of the way all the storage is going to go around here. Oh, I've got my sap collector, which collects sap pretty quick. I don't know what the stack size, 20 out of 20. Okay. So then we can put that in here. It's going to be our sap box. So that's good to know. It can only hold 20. So yeah, this is what I did. It, made it, it came out really nice. You can get all of the walls here in the center all perfectly. Like just, just absolutely perfect. Uh, it took like five or six different variations of building on the tree platform to get it this nice but once I did it it's really efficient really quick and easy to do and yeah so I'll show you exactly how to do that right now ah, okay so as you can see I've started building my platforms here now I know it looks a little weird right now but you have to do this you have to delete the first two in order to be able to place the one next to it. So what you do is you place this, you get it centered up nice and perfect, and then make sure it's centered perfectly, lined, aligned correctly, and then you place it just so that the green part enters the wood, just a little bit. And then you build all the way back, you build four total, and you build four total because you're going to put a ceiling there and you're going to drop a pillar. And I'll show you that in a second. But see, when you try and place it here, it doesn't work. So you have to delete. 
these two. So you kind of waste a lot of material while doing this, but it ends up making it look really, really good in the end. And if you want your base to look really good, this is definitely the way to do it. So you get it nice and centered, just so the green enters the wood, place it, and you go four back. Then you delete these two. And then do that here. You get it centered. Nice and center. Which it's not. There we go. Let it touch the wood. Then you delete these two. So, uh, then the fun part happens after this. Right about there. And go back. Oh, look at those light rays. Huh. That's new. Or I've just never seen it before. Okay, and now that you've got that done. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Crap. Okay. So yeah. Then you go back and you place one more in front of each of these. And what happens is these are going to actually act as your foundations for the uh, ceilings that you're going to put up. Now, Ark has this weird thing where... I don't even know how to describe it. As long as you've got foundations connected to another foundation, it'll act like it's all connected to that base foundation. This is how you build really big bridges without having a whole convoluted structure up in the air. So what you'll do is, do I have my, I have one ceiling, fantastic. Do I have any pillars? Yes, okay. So what you do is you place your ceiling and you place a pillar. Not like that, that's not how you're supposed to be. We've done this before, you know how you're supposed to be and it's definitely not like that. You want it to be like that. Make a bunch of these. And then you do this. Okay, we gotta wait for those to... All right, I'm gonna wait for these to craft and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm actually prepared. I actually went and made a lot more because it's gonna take about 200 uh, ceilings to do this. I made 100. So, well, I had some in storage, but... Anyways, besides the point. So now what you do is you bring this all the way back and you take it back to the tree. And then you'll be able to actually build the walls right on top of that. And then, so we'll just go ahead and do that for all of these. I found it's just the easiest way is to get this basic part done first. So we'll go ahead and just get this done. Place that there, place that there. All right, so we got three. That'll be enough to show you the basics of this and what you can do. So it just goes like this, and you come over here, and if the game would cooperate, be prepared to waste a lot of ceilings as well. You're gonna need some extra because they will try and place in the places you don't want them to place. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these to make a wall just to show, actually I got this but yeah they'll play they'll place good here and you just, you know, just place them where you need them if you want them there that is some people will want to see the tree that's up to you but yeah so now now what you do is you just go out out oh see that's what I'm talking about that'll happen it happened to me twice uh, and then you go out and out it happened again <sighs> nope again okay holy crap oh and it deleted the wrong one that's that's my life right there pretty much now everything happens okay let's try this again that doesn't usually happen that bad there we go there we go okay See, now we got a nice little walkway out here. Oh, I thought I placed in the wrong spot again. And then you go in. 
And you go in. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. And that is pretty much it. It creates the best looking treehouse that I have been able to make so far. Maybe somebody's got a better way of doing it. I know you can also do it with fence foundations, but I found this way to look a lot better while using quite a bit more resources. But if you've got dodics and beavers and stuff, it's not really gonna matter because you can get a bajillion and a half wood from this forest without even trying. So yeah, and you just keep doing that and you do the same thing all the way. This can actually go out a little bit farther if you wanted to, which I might end up doing anyways. Basically all you do is, uh, let's see here, where's a straight one? So yeah, see how this comes straight out? Yeah, yeah, this is one that comes straight up. So what you would do is you would just extend this one out mo one more. You extend that out one more, then you extend it this way, then you extend it this way. And then you gotta go down here and extend this out, extend this out, and then you put a pillar down. And then you can get it out one more because this, this pillar here makes the game think that there's a foundation connected to this outcropping. So, and then you just add it out. And that's how you extend the platform out a little bit. You can get like one or two, you can get it out two more, I think. Yeah, no, just that's it. That's as far as you can go out without having to bring pillars all the way down to the ground. But yeah. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Um, once you do complete all of this, it'll look really good and you can build anything you want on it. And uh, on my next video, or maybe later on this video, depending on if I get, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'm going to make this bridge and I'll show you guys how to make a really nice bridge that's going to come down here. I think I'm going to try and get that done for this video. I think I've got a little bit of time to spare, uh, but I need to get this all built out. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get this full level built out and, um, I think you guys pretty much got the gist of it. So I'm just going to finish building this out and then I'm going to build the bridge from that platform to this platform. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Ha <laughs> ha